Hi, my name is Richard Sparks and I'm coming to you from Kingdom Builders Hobbies here in Mexico and today we're going to do an unboxing of Warlord's German Grenadiers, late war German Grenadiers. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Malloy, is there anything you want to talk to me about, about the box before I look at these sprues? No, no, not really. I mean, it looks pretty cool. And um, this is the box that you're going to be getting if you're doing a late war army. Um, so. If you're going to do a themed army early war, just make sure um, to check, you know, what phase of the war your box is coming from. For example, if you look at the box, I'm not sure you can see it. Can you see it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is, yeah. Um, there's a little tab and it has late, middle, and early war. It's on the side of the box. So in this box, you're going to get 30. Plastic card, German uh, Grenadiers. And do I have the box backwards? No, I don't. 30 German Grenadiers. And on the back, it shows you an example of how you might be able to put them together. And it gives you a little brief example of history about them and uh, how they were equipped and how they were used in combat. So now we'll look at the sprues. So inside the box, I love the box art though, the box art is really cool. I wish, I wish you had a better picture of it. You're going to get your sprues. And then there, there should be, here it is. You also get one of these, and what this is, is it gives you some ideas for a pose. And when putting these together, it's very important that you don't cut everything off at the same time and just have this massive amounts of pieces because like bolt action the system um, you need to match the arms with the guns it's a very um, uh, detailed set you get a whole bunch of different weapons you get ideas for poses that they show both in the front here with the sprue and what comes on it and on the back you get some more ideas of poses so it gives you an idea if you're new to the hobby or new to gaming and you kind of want to make a more action-like pose. So that's that. So this is the handout. You're also going to get these. I'm not sure you can see them, but they are decals. Decals that you put on the shoulder pads to identify the unit and uh, uh, markings, rank, so forth. You're also going to get bases. They are going to have enough bases for 30 soldiers. And you're going to have uh, this sprue of bases. Malloy, thank you. You're also going to have this sprue. Now you're going to get one, two, three, four, five of these sprues. And they're all exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. There we go. So you have your, um, your bodies for your soldiers right here. You have some that are kneeling some that are standing. They even have ones that you would have the smock to do splinter camo on for camouflage. And then on here, going back to this, if you look here, it tells you everything that's on the sprue. Okay, so you can match up the different heads you want, the different weapons, the different uh, posing of the body, and all the different options you can get. It's a very um, diverse uh, kit, actually. So, what we're going to do is later on in the next videos or our future videos, we're going to have a closed camera. What that's going to do is it's actually going to, I'll be able to set this down right here and they'll have a, a top viewing point and you'll be able to look at every single um, piece on the sprue. These pieces are very detailed, they're very nice. Um, again, Warlord makes quality stuff. I can't say enough good things about them. They're amazing. And, uh... So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a couple of them, we're going to put them together, and then uh, show you the put together products. And uh, here we have some put together models of the Germans. We have a uh, light machine gunner, and we have the ammo bearer that goes with them. And the last thing we put together was we put together the officer. So. 
those are just some examples. And uh, also one of the things I wanted to talk about is when you're building these, that you really have to not rush and look at the models, look at the sprues, uh, the different weapons you want, and definitely do not cut out the arms, all the arms and all the weapons before you figure out how you want to arrange or arm your squads. Now you're going to get 30 German late war uh, grenadiers. Now you can use uh, light machine guns, you can make them veterans and put two light machine guns in each squad. There are uh, SMGs, there are uh, assault rifles, um, Panzerfaust, all these different options and you really have to take a close look at the sprue and figure out how you want to arm your unit. It's very important that, again, you just don't cut all the pieces out and make a giant jigsaw puzzle. So. Um, that's the German uh, Grenadier box. Thank you for uh, uh, watching, subscribe, and if you have any comments, please leave them down below. If there's anything I missed or uh, any questions you might have, uh, please leave a comment and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. God bless.